Welcome to The Great Debate. Tonight's topic, is Hamlet, Prince of Denmark, really crazy or just gaslighting everybody? Hi, I'm Harry Pitts. And I'm East in the West. And we're going to be your moderators for tonight's debate. The debate that we have all been waiting for. Is Hamlet bad or no? Arguing that Hamlet is just tripping and ain't got no chill, we have Frank Montague. And on the opposing side, arguing that we're all just human. Everyone has their bad days. Alan Capulet! Let's kick this thing off with some opening remarks. If one wants to decide if an individual is mad, one needs only look at the character's actions. Hamlet, Prince of Denmark, harasses his mother, his girlfriend, murders an innocent man, hallucinates ghostly apparitions, defiles a gravesite. A gravesite. And his actions lead to not only his own death, but the death of everyone around him. Madness. I believe that if one wants to decide if an individual is mad, one needs only look at the character's intent. Hamlet, Prince of Denmark, learns that his father was killed by his uncle, becomes the stepson of said uncle, is visited by a ghost that is his father, a ghost that was also seen multiple times by others. And he had the nerve to be betrayed by the loves of his life. <laughs> oh, my friend, you have done nothing but highlight the cause of Hamlet's madness. Yes, he has had a hard year. Who has not? Hashtag Corona. But this series of unfortunate events did not exempt Hamlet from the diagnosis of madness. Huh? These are merely the vehicles which drove Hamlet into the steeps of insanity. Each of us has a breaking point. How would you feel if your mother married your father's murderer? And trust me, she's the kind. Oh! <laughs> oh, 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 I think anyone would be driven mad. I do not judge the prince. I am merely trying to expose his lunacy. But what my friend here doesn't seem to understand is that his argument only confirms my opening remarks. Look, this debate isn't about Hamlet's actions. This debate is about Hamlet's decision to make said acts of lunacy. Look, we can both agree that Hamlet has plenty of modem to act the way that he does. Uh, now, now, is it right? Absolutely not. But this is not a debate about morals as you can obviously see from my opponent here. Now, as my friend David Ball says, going forward allows for unpredictable possibilities, but going backwards exposes that which is required. Yes, Hamlet's actions ultimately leads to the death of himself and also others, but when we travel backwards through the play's events, we can get a clearer understanding of why Hamlet decides to purposely play mad. Do your own research. Go back and look through the events of Shakespeare's Hamlet and tell me that you cannot find the truth beneath what we would call lunacy. Hamlet is not mad. He is a man with clear motive that will do whatever it takes to achieve his objective. Well, that makes two of us. Ha! I'm gone! <laughs> Have that be now! Ah! Whoa! Whoa, this debate is getting
getting out of control? <clears throat> well, uh, boy, I sure do hope that uh, Mr. Capulet and Mr. Montague can uh, settle their differences and don't hold on to this grudge for too long. But it looks like we're going to have to leave the results of this one up to the opinions of you viewers at home. Oh, wow. Well, signing off, this is Harry Pitts. And I'm East and West. And this has been The, the Great, Great Debate. Debate. Have a good night.